Oh, okay. white. I see what you mean. Yeah. You can do other things, but most of the time that's the same. I still, again, even after you left, I had that purple in my hand. I was like, who hit me? I was like, I'm going to wash this off. shirts at the house. I mean, you don't have to fly over there. told me that I had a like a hair tie on my wrist the entire time we took seeing the phone pictures. So. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. If, so when do you want to hold your phone? Or? Megan asked, can someone pick her up? I knew I'd be here on your wedding day. I didn't know I'd be doing your hair. <laughs> Sorry. Like years ago anyways. Oh. Like I had prior warning this time. <laughs> okay. I was going to say. Definitely had prior warning. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would have been weird. You like the me. massage line on that trip? Yeah, that was so sweet. Let me put this one. Okay. All right. Let me get the thing. The thing. Or oh, I said thing. I don't know what the thing is. Oh, oh for good. Okay. Okay.
gathered here in the presence of God and in your presence to witness the marriage of Simran Mabubani and John David Sawyers and to send them on their way with our prayers and the Lord's blessing. Who gives this bride in marriage? A mother and not. Please be seated. John David and Simran, in token of your choice of each other to be companions through life, will you please join hands? It is a great joy to all of us, your family and friends, to share in this great event in your lives. I know your, your parents have watched and prayed for both of you as you have grown into the wonderful Christian young people you are. It was my pleasure to get to know you as your college minister, and I fondly remember many fun times with the two of you, and I'm proud to call you my friends. So let us begin by reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. The Apostle Paul writes, And yet I will show you the most excellent way, if I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Then in verse 13, it says, Now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. So for all the Christian influences, like your parents, grandparents, your friends, your teachers, all your family, all that they've had upon you, we are humbly thankful to them. We're thankful to God. Marriage holds a very honored place in the Bible and in the history it is older than any other institution. We can visualize in our mind God bringing Eve, the woman that God had just made from part of man's side to Adam. And it is in the setting of that garden paradise, uniting the first man and woman into the first family. Adam was created first, and especially for him, Eve was made. Eve was made from Adam himself. It has often been said that she was not taken from his head so as to rule over him. Neither was she taken from his foot that he should trample upon her. She was taken from his side to stand by him in all that life offers. She was taken from under his arm that he might protect and provide for her. She was taken from near his heart that he should love and cherish her with his own body. In early biblical times, Weddings were among the most festive and joyful occasions of their society. In a time when work days were long and hard, wedding celebrations provided a joyful occasion for friends and family together. So this wedding today is reminiscent of that time. Jesus honored marriage by attending a wedding, wedding in the Canaan of Galilee. It was there that he performed his first miracle. And his doing so prevented the host from being embarrassed and ensured that nothing would mar the joyfulness of that occasion. And children's games of that time included playing weddings, according to Matthew 17, 11, 17. So just as Jesus attended that wedding, we also recognize that he is here. He is one of the guests. And according to Malachi 2, 14, that God himself stands as witness to the exchange of vows 
that we made here today. So in the New Testament, marriage is likened to the relationship between Christ and his church. Christ loved the church and he gave himself for it, just as a husband should love his wife. So it is stressed by our Lord in the New Testament that the ideal marriage relationship is between one man and woman united in marriage until death and a union which must not be put asunder by man. So the, great, the greatest relationship in life is that relationship between yourself and the God of heaven. But the greatest and most important relationship with another human being is that which you enter into today. It is both a most joyful and a most serious promise which you make to each other today. The exchange of these vows are the most important promises you will make. And God has ordained that it be made a vow for life. So John David, do you take Simran, whose hand you now hold, to be your wife and to cling to her as long as you both shall live? I do. Simran, do you take John David, whose hand you now hold, to be your husband and to cleave to him as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you, John David, promise before God and all these here today to love Simran as your wife from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do you part? I do. And Simran, do you promise before God and all these here today to love John David as your husband from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do you part? I do. John David, is there a token that you wish to give to Simran that will help her to always remember the vow of love that you pledged to her today? This is a lovely and beautiful ring, and it hereby becomes a token of the marriage covenant that you two enter into this day. It is made of metal that is not easily tarnished and that endures for a lifetime, an emblem of the pure and enduring love which you are to cherish for each other throughout your life. So John David, as you give this ring to Simran, please repeat your vow. With this ring, with this ring, I take you to be my wife. I take you to be my wife. With my heart's most faithful devotion. With my heart's most faithful devotion. I pledge to you. I pledge to you. My loyalty and my faithfulness. My loyalty and my faithfulness. For as long as we shall live. For as long as we shall live. Simran, is there a token that you wish to give to John David that will help him to always remember the vow of love that you pledged to him today? Simran, as you give this ring to John David, please repeat your vow. With this ring, with this ring, I take you to be my husband. I take you to be my husband. With my heart's most faithful devotion. With my heart's most faithful devotion. I pledge to you. I pledge to you. My loyalty and my faithfulness. My loyalty and my faithfulness. For as long as we shall live. For as long as we shall live. These rings are an endless circle. They symbolize the unbroken marital union, which is ordained and sanctioned by God. May your love forever encircle each other as these rings encircle your fingers. So audience, we have a part for you. Well, this assembly of the family and friends who are witnesses to this day, to these vows, will you please stand? Everyone, please stand. So we turn to you now, their family and friends, and we beseech you to pledge to John David and to Simran your love and your faithful support and your encouragement of the home that is being established today. So if you so pledge to them your loyalty and support, please respond now by saying, we will. We will. Thank you. You may be seated. Simran, John David, will you both please look at the hands that you're now holding and think on this. These hands 
that you see now are the hands that will be there to encourage you in the times of disappointment. These hands are the hands that will support and comfort you in the times of sorrow and grief. They are the hands that will share life's happinesses with you. They are the hands that will hand to you blessings and honor. These hands that are clasped together are much stronger than one pair all alone. So may these hands work together, enjoy life together, and pray together. So now we ask everyone that we bow our heads in prayer together. God, please bless Simran and John David that they may be gracious, kind, and loving to each other that they may accept life as a gift from you and that their marriage as an opportunity for fulfillment for them. Please help them to be patient with one another and to forgive freely, remembering that you have so freely forgiven us. May the peace of Christ rule in their hearts and in their marriage. Help them to always remember the love that they have pledged to each other this day and to live in harmony with each other forever, and to always be thankful for what you have given to them in each other. Bless all of us that we may encourage and support this new home. So God, it is in Jesus' name that we come before your throne with praise and this petition. Amen. So, inasmuch as the two of you have entered willingly into this covenant of holy marriage, and you have sealed your vows by the giving and receiving of these rings. I, therefore, as a minister of the gospel of Christ, and by the virtue of the authority vested in me by your marriage license in the state of Alabama, do pronounce you husband and wife. John David, you may kiss your bride. Friends, let me present to you Simran and John David Sawyers.
Give the Grand River a round of applause, everybody! And at this time, if we could go ahead and get the father on the dance floor for the father-daughter dance. Oh, 
Let's give these guys a round of applause. That is the newlywed game. 